What do we have for cancer? Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy at the foundation of the reading. And the Four of Wands, we're going to take this in reverse. Aries energy at the sacral of the reading. Cancer, there's a lot going on inside your energy right now. But what I feel the main focus is you and your success or you and the success you're about to step into. There's a lot of people watching you. And these are individuals that did not want to see you have this success in your life. And I just heard for some of you, this could even be you having a family, you having children, you moving on from somebody and just having a better life with somebody new that actually treats you really good. This can also be related to your career. You finally find something that gives you what you're worth. And those that didn't recognize your value are now in regret for letting you get away. This Four of Wands at the Sacral is also speaking to me about family dynamics. You moving on, breaking the chains, understanding that the only way for you to have success in your life is to go your own way and never look back. Because everything you've done up until this point has given you zero to minimal success, no matter how hard you worked. And you're starting to truly understand now that it was nothing that you were really doing wrong other than not utilizing proper discernment with the characters. I just, I don't know why I said characters, but that's literally what I just heard. The characters that you allowed into your life. Ah, uh, I just heard it's because they were all playing a part in your downfall. Each one of them was a different character, strategically placed inside the matrix of your life, like Agent Smith's, they were given a mission, and that mission was to stop you by any means necessary, to discredit you by any means necessary, to keep you away from success, which would cause them to have to look at themselves in the mirror. And this is also very heavy inside your energy here, Cancer. People don't want to see you have success because it puts a spotlight on things that may be broken inside of them, picking up family members heavy right now. So merely by you cutting these individuals out of your life in some capacity here, having the success in your life, now people are looking at them like, wait a second, all of you were the common denominator. Look at them now. You haven't spoken to cancer in this amount of time, this many years, and look how successful they are. But it took them all this time and effort all this pain and strife, fighting year after year. And what it came down to at the end of it all was all of you doing things to block cancer from having this happiness and success in their life. And I'm also hearing right now that for some of you, you had family members that were tampering with your relationships using word witchery behind your back, which is a low-level form of black magic, speaking wickedness, lies, slander on somebody's name to tarnish their reputation or image in the face of others so people don't want to give you an opportunity or just don't want to have anything to do with you, which is controlling the narrative of your life, playing God. This is what you've been dealing with in some capacity here, Cancer. Whether this is in the past or in the present day, this is the energy that I'm picking up inside the Cancer Collective right now. What do we have at the solar plexus? I'm also picking up Eight of Wands, Sag energy at the solar plexus. So what I was going to say, Cancer, I'm also picking up with this Four of Wands at the sacral. Uh, there's a bunch of you out there that were born into families where there was little to no love. And what I mean by this is, you were born between parents that did not love each other. It's as if you were a weapon that was used against the other parent to quite possibly keep their marriage together, something along these lines. But I'm picking up inside your energy that we're dealing with some parents here who truly, truly despise each other. A lot of you had to grow up inside these dynamics. Now, this is very challenging as you get older because this is a lifetime of healing. You never quite get to a point 
where you're completely healed from it. You just get to a point where you're at peace. And cancer, I can speak from experience here because this is something that happened to me. I was very much born between parents who absolutely loathed each other, could not stand each other, and essentially made me the scapegoat for their hatred towards each other. This is a very miserable life and existence to be born into. But what I can tell you, again, based off of experience cancer, is if you can manage to remove yourself from those dynamics and get away from these individuals, self-empower, the divine will bless you with certain abilities to be able to help other individuals based off of the struggles you've been through. Miracle kind of energy. You take the darkness you have seen in your life cancer and you turn it into hope that you can give back to others. And this is actually the most effective way, I feel, to heal yourself from this sort of childhood wounding by speaking your truth and helping others. Building community surrounding the struggles that you've been through. This is incredibly effective and there's nothing but purpose inside of that energy because that in and of itself is a black sheep kind of energy. A lot of you cancers were strategically placed and birthed into these life cycles with those families. God, the divine, knew exactly what they were doing when they put you between those parents, so to speak, because you were the one that was going to break the chains and rewrite the family lineage moving forward. You're very much well on your way, Cancer, or you're about to be with this Eight of Wands at the Solar Plexus, you're feeling a sense of confidence and self-empowerment like you never have. And for those of you starting out on this path, it's a vision that you're beginning to have of your future. You're getting downloads. And this is how it goes, Cancer. The Divine will start giving you the downloads, these instructions, these blueprints on how you're supposed to move forward. A lot of you are receiving all of this right now. A lot of your parents, family members did not teach you how to respect yourself because they themselves did not respect themselves. So a large portion of your life was spent with people walking all over you, whether this was friends, other family members, romantic relationships. It's just an energy that you are now healing from. And this is not something that you are going to continue forward with. Some of you cancers that don't have children yet are actually really excited to have kids because you're going to do everything right. You're going to give your children the love that you yourself never received. This is how you break generational curses, Cancer. And a lot of you are preparing to do this. It's the time for it. And it doesn't matter how young or old you may be. It's just where we are at astrologically and in this time in history. Cycles are closing out. These old, outdated belief systems aren't working anymore. And we all know that. The system is just old and rusty and it needs to be replaced. And a lot of it has to do with our belief systems, our mindsets. What do we have at the heart, please? Six of Wands. <laughs> Aquarius energy at the heart. Unbelievable. And you're on your way. Exactly like I've been picking up for the entirety of this reading. You see this passage forward now. Things are just starting to really crystallize and become clearer to you, Cancer. A lot of you are really starting to understand your place in this universe or enough of it just to get moving. You don't have to know every detail, Cancer. You just have to have a little vision. See, the divine will give you a little glimpse like, hey, Cancer, this is what we got for you. But we need you to make these changes in your life. And then once you start stepping in that direction and being proactive inside that space, the divine will show you a little more. I don't care who you are, you can always find a sense of purpose and meaning in the darkest struggles you have been through in your life. And 90% of the time, it has to do with helping other people heal. There's so many different ways this can show up, Cancer. People write books. People write music. That heals the world. People start podcasts so people feel less alone. People start tarot channels to help guide people out of a dark spot in their life. And in all of that cancer, it usually doesn't matter how many people hear it. The right ears will come across it. The right eyes will see what you're doing. Our purpose cannot be measured, but I truly believe that sometimes we're put on a path to help guide 
a handful of people, and then we have to shift to another path. There's just no telling what the divine has in store for you. But the most important thing, and the only thing you really have control over, is how you move, and by making sure that you're following that intuitive guidance, those nudges, going after that vision, this true heart's desire, six of swords right at the heart chakra, going after this vision. This is a rite of passage. This is a way out. Let me repeat, this is a way out. That's going to resonate deeply with a lot of you out there. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, that's the way out. Okay? What's calling you from within? That's the way out. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy at the throat, temperance, Sag energy at the third eye. Uh, just further reiterating everything I'm saying here, Cancer. It's like here they are. My tactics don't work on Cancer anymore. Cancer? Where are you? Oh no. Cancer's over there healing the world. Temperance at the third eye. You're taking all of this darkness and you're transmuting it into light. Feeding it back to the collective in the form of healing. There's nothing more valuable than wisdom, Cancer. You cannot even put a price on it. And this is what this is all representing. The value of your wisdom will lay out a path of gold for you. But you must follow the visions and the downloads that the divine is transmitting to you. As you become proactive inside this space, the connection becomes stronger because you're literally getting closer to God, to Source. The reception becomes better because you're removing yourself, Six of Swords at the heart, from these dynamics, these environments, whatever it may be for you. You're not listening to these people anymore. You're not allowing them to affect your self-confidence anymore. You're not allowing them to hold you back. You're not allowing them to put all of their unhealed trauma on your shoulders. And a lot of you have been carrying this unhealed trauma literally for your parents for a lifetime. This temperance at the third eye is confirming everything we're speaking about here. This is an energy of purpose, meaning, healing, and balance. And it's at that third eye chakra. This is all related to your visions, how you're moving inside your waking life. What do we have with the crown, please? Ace of Swords at the crown. So we're framing this top row with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I'm also getting this energy of you being very protected because you're on path. And I always say this, but when you're on path and you're working inside this space proactively, this is when no weapons that form against you prosper. You have to actually be on path to have this divine layer of protection around you. It's like showing up for work. You got to clock in to get the protection. Just like you have to clock in to get a paycheck. You got to show up. So Ace of Swords coming in right at this crown position is emphasizing your faith, bringing you victory, balanced crown chakra energy, and again, emphasis on wisdom. Your wisdom in overcoming these struggles and having this deeper understanding of how the universe works is what positions you inside this space to be able to receive this cloak of divine protection. Ace of Swords is also an energy of raw power. When you step into this energy, Cancer, and you realize that it's actually always been there waiting for you, it's shocking because you really start to look back over your path, your life, the people that you surrounded yourself with, and it's hard not to have some form of complete disgust and resentment there. Blocked heart chakra energy. But then as time goes on, you start to heal that heart chakra blockage, which blockages are all based off of your resentment and bitterness towards the past and the people that may have put you through this. You start to look at things from this higher perspective. You understand that everything had to happen in this divine order. You actually had to go through those struggles because if you hadn't of, you wouldn't be where you are 
in that very moment. When you finally reach this space, which is a beautiful space to reach, this is when you're able to forgive, right? Without having any face time with any individuals, it's just something that happens from within. You just have a higher understanding of how the universe works. It's like saying, oh, I get it now. That was actually all supposed to happen. And they're actually just unhealed and don't see things from this higher perspective. So it's almost futile to even blame them because they literally just don't get it. It hasn't computed. Yeah, it's pretty much a cancer. And also feeling angry or getting upset when you think about the struggles you had to go through, there's nothing actually wrong with that. It's a natural feeling to have. And a lot of the time having that feeling when you are inside this grounded space that you're moving into will actually lead you to something else. So sometimes when I find myself feeling consumed by some resentment or bitterness towards something that happened in my past, I see it as a sign that there's something in there that I missed or there's something the divine wants me to do. And 100% of the time, it always leaves me with a little gift. I allow myself to feel those feelings. And then every time I come out of that space, I have some sort of information, something that I can give back. It makes me a better channeler. It makes me better at reading tarot. It gives me more wisdom that I can put inside my little bucket of wisdom to pull from. When you get to this space, Cancer, when you're able to come at it from this sort of frame of mind, it's deeply healing. And it puts purpose behind all of it. What do we have at the foundation, please? Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy, Furfur, at the foundation of the reading. And there it is. Cancer, these next few cards are shadow energies. This is what's going on behind the scenes. This is what's going on on the etheric plane. It's what you can't essentially see. But this card right here, which is read as a Ten of Cups in its negative polarity, all has to do with the misalignment that you have with your family, relationships in your life that you've had to break free from. It's also related to romantic relationships that brought a lot of sorrow into your life. And again, I'm also picking up that this was done deliberately. Ace of Wands stacked with Ten of Cups in its negative polarity, going out of their way to bring darkness and misery into your life exposing you to toxic behavioral patterns and family dynamics from a very young age that had a detrimental effect on your development. It's not even knowing any better. It's like that's all you knew. You know, when we're children, we just assume that our parents are protecting us. We assume that they're good people, but do we even have a gauge of what a good person really is? Or is that gauge based off of what our parents tell us? You see how... The mind of a child can be so easily manipulated and it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that our development is going to serve us when we become adults. A lot of you had parents that just simply did not care about anyone or anything but themselves. And this energy of you being scapegoated because of the dynamic between these two hateful individuals was the reason for all of it. Cancer, I just heard you're the first but not the last of your kind. Chain breaker energy. You've rewritten your family's lineage. I'm picking up on hundreds of years of this very oppressing karma that's just been pushing through the generations until it came to you. See, when we honor our ancestors and we give thanks, and when we ask for support from our ancestors, it's meant to be with the knowing that they carried the torch as far as they could and were unfortunately overwhelmed and were consumed by the distractions and the oppressing nature of living inside the material world, inside the matrix. They essentially failed their mission at breaking these generational curses. So when you come along and you pick up the torch and you start running and you manage to break these generational curses, your ancestors are in the ethers supporting you, cheering you on. You're completing what they weren't able to do. So you have their support. And this is the greatest way you can honor your ancestors. Most, if not all of them, didn't even know what they were dealing with when they were alive. It took them crossing over to see things from this different vantage point and understand the darkness they were fighting against their entire lives. 
But now, in the time we're living in, we're all awoken to this in our waking lives. So we know this is what's happening. It's an amazing time to be alive, Cancer. And if you can try and look at what I'm trying to explain to you here from this universal vantage point, you're going to position yourself to be able to manifest a very, very beautiful life full of abundance and success and love. Things that a lot of you were deprived of from the moment of inception. What do we have at the sacral, please? Two of swords, Libra energy at the sacral. Uh, this goes along with everything I just said. This is two swords red in its negative polarity. This is representing what your ancestors had to face. Feeling overloaded. With the everyday mechanics of just having to live a life inside this three-dimensional density. It's very hard to focus on what we're being called to do right now. But the path is being cleared for you, Cancer. You're being given opportunities that your ancestors didn't have access to. It's very important you're not compromising your happiness and or success, however that may be looking for you. A lot of you are truly being called to get away from any person, place, or thing that is holding you back from bringing this victory through. Some of you are being weighed down with a lot of responsibility and obstacles because of how close you're getting. And again, I can confirm that this is also something that I have seen unfold in my own life. Right before you have a victory, there'll be some sort of delay. There'll be this energy that consumes you where you almost feel like you're making the wrong decision, right? It's like a spirit. And this is what generational karma is. It's a spirit. It's an energy. We pick up these patterns from those that came before us, patterns that are outdated and unevolved. Behavioral patterns are spirits. It's a low-level form of possession. Demons are behavioral patterns. It's all essentially the same thing. It just depends on what perspective you're looking at it from. It's very deep, and I can go on about that for a very long time. But rather than get into all the inner workings of how this unfolds in your life, because it doesn't really matter right now, what does matter? That you're pressing forward in the direction of your north node, your purpose, your highest good, no matter how that may affect somebody else. Because cancer, it's never easy to do this. It's very, very hard. Only because of everything you have to overcome inside these dynamics. It's usually people that create the difficulties. Well, you can't do that. That's not going to work out for you. People that have been around your entire life that you need to get away from. That's the hardest part. But once you finally do that, and you go after these true heart's desires, the floodgates will open for you. And you'll quickly start to see that your actions to move in this direction that you're being called to is resulting in some sort of success and movement in your life. What do we have the solar plexus, please? King of Wands, Asmodeus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. And here they are. You can't do that. You're not going to pull that off. You need to stay right here. Right? Generations of demons and spirits and possession and karma holding back the people in your family lineage. I just heard it again, breaking the curse. And it's right underneath this Eight of Wands. See, this is you moving forward and this is this energy trying to stand in front of you. It's like an ancient energy. This is why it's so hard to break. It's always been there. On the spiritual plane, Cancer, I'm seeing so much in regards to how this energy shows up. But the only way I can truly describe what it is that I'm seeing here, it's like a battle. It's a literal war. But in saying that, Cancer, it's so much bigger than all of us as well. We all play an incremental role in this. We just all have to do our part in winning our own individual wars. And for a lot of you, if not all of you, it's going to be a war that you fight on the spiritual plane with those that you've always known nearest and dearest to you, staring right in your face from the moment of inception, hiding in plain sight. What do we have at the heart, please? Oh, wow. Zipar, treason and revolt. This is lovers read in its negative polarity, Gemini energy. 
Further reiterating everything I just said, this is an energy of misaligned values, arguments, discord, imbalance, and struggle, just an overall energy of disharmony. This is the energy you're moving away from now. A lot of you are starting to see this energy react in a way that you haven't seen before. Something's different this time, but something's different with you because there's a glimmer inside your eye that perhaps wasn't there before. They feel threatened by this. They know that this time you're going to do it. Something like this. Literally says treason. So everything I was picking up on here, it's a war. These individuals betrayed you and revolt. You're rebelling against this energy. And then we have Hakamiya, Leo energy, loyalty, which is the strength card. Unbelievable energy of you now harnessing this inner strength, realizing that you have all this protection around you, the divine lifting you up. You just had to say the word. I'm seeing this battalion of spirit guides and angels and ancestors in my mind's eye all coming up over the hill behind you, showing up to fight the war for you. You just have to say the word. See, your part in fighting the war is just you making the decision and putting the plan in place to get moving. Then the divine comes through and takes care of the rest, arranges things behind the scenes for you. The hardest part is making the initial decision, taking that initial first step. Once you do that, it becomes easier and easier to keep moving forward, Cancer. What do we have at the throat, please? Empress, Libra, Taurus, Venusian energy. Wow. Cancer, these next few cards begin. These next few cards are the outcome. So we go from the shadow energy here, demon energy essentially, demon, angel, shadow, light, into the outcome. These are all the angels. So now here you are stepping into this Empress energy. God, Father, the generous, fertility and fruitfulness. And Empress is the most beautiful card in the tarot, male or female. It's just an energy now of complete abundance, growth, expansion. And there's also this message here. See how she's giving the snake a drink from her chalice, right? And it's like there's peace between the serpent and this angel, right? And what I feel this is representing in this reading is this inner peace that you have within self because you're seeing things from this higher vantage point like I was speaking about earlier on in the reading. It's also giving me an energy of you on the path to healing this inner child, healing the darkness, the demons, right, that you've had to eradicate from your energy that were placed on your path, so to speak, without you having any sort of say-so in the matter. Oh, wow. And look who decided to show up to the party, Cancer. The devil. Well, he's actually leaving the party. Samuel, the severity of God, seduction and downfall. So now this devil energy is leaving your life. You've spotted it, right? Once you spot the devil, the devil goes back to hell because the devil is a coward. The devil can only get away with his tricks when you allow him to. Now, that sounds like a strange thing to say because who would allow the devil to use his tricks on us? Well, the thing is, Cancer, the trick is it's very difficult for us to recognize this energy in our lives. It will lie to us. It will gaslight us. It will make us feel like we are going crazy as a means to keep the facade going. Therefore, we find ourselves making up excuses for this energy in our lives. A lot of the times we'll blame ourselves, which allows the devil to continue with his little tricks. But once you say no more and you put your foot down and you don't allow this to take place anymore and you pull the rug out from underneath the devil and you believe what you are seeing, it's like the saying, when someone shows you who they are, you better believe them, right? Exactly. 
What do we have at the Crown to close out for cancer, please? Oh, perfect. High Priestess, Pisces Energy, Elahia, God the Eternal Lasting, Success, Protection from Magistrates, further reiterating that you are under divine guidance, Cancer, and emphasizing very clearly that your intuition, the downloads you are receiving, is telling you how to move, going back to exactly what I was saying earlier on in the reading. And it's coming in right at the crown, stacked with this Ace of Swords. Your intuition, Ace of Swords stacked with the High Priestess at the crown, is firing on all cylinders. You cannot get a stronger pairing indicating how powerful your intuition is at this position in my readings. Everything you're thinking is right on target. If you are of healthy mind, there's absolutely no reason why you cannot be trusting your intuition right now. Cancer, there are these very high, intense spiritual energies around all of you right now, helping guide you into this new timeline. I just heard portal. You're very awakened to what's going on. You have a deeper understanding that most don't. Don't allow anybody to try and gaslight you or to lead you off your path. Anybody who's not supporting your movements forward right now can be considered the enemy. They may not look that way in your waking life, but on the spiritual plane, most of those people look a little something like that. A slithering, drooling, multi-headed demon from the darkest pits of the underworld that was sent here to make sure that you don't break this generational karma and step into your power. Cancer, this is the energy I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Cancer. Take care.